What's up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. Today, Mythica VR just released a beta version that allowed users to use the software to stitch stereoscopic 3D footage from any cameras. I am very lucky to work directly with the engineer from Mystica VR to learn the in and out of this new beta release. So now I'm gonna share with you my feedback and a tutorial to teach you how you can also stitch your stereoscopic footage and improve the stitching in 3D environment with this new update. Let's get started. Okay, what you just watched is one of my recent projects stitching with Mythica VR is a stereo 3D footage. Before we actually give you the tutorial on how to use Mythica VR to do stereo stitching, I actually want to talk about why I even bother to use Mythica VR to stitch stereoscopic footage. Why don't you just using the native stitcher to stitch that? I can give you a couple reasons why you want to use Mythica VR to control your stitching. Well, besides it outputs such a nice uh, high high res smooth footage. Uh, this is output from Ethical VR, so it's a native codex. So even I did not render in my Premiere, I can still smooth playback. Um, but besides this advantage to keep the high resolution possible from directly from your camera without over compression from your native stitcher. There's a couple major reasons why I picked Mythical VR instead of the native stitcher to do my stitching. Let's take a look at an easier timeline, an easier project to actually see the comparison. As you see the stereoscopic footage, the first one is stitched by Instant 360 Stitchers, uh, which is the camera I have. The second one is stitched by Mystica VR. So let's have a comparison. Uh, let's go to this frame. So why not, in, if you're in a new version of Premiere, uh, there's new feature that uh, with the VR toggle button, you can actually now see stereoscopic footage. So uh, in here, so VR video, if you hit on the setting, you can pick like see it from the left eye, right eye, or anamorphic. So um, and a, and a graphic, sorry, uh, and a stereoscopic view. So right here. So uh, to easy three uh, see three D, uh, if you have those like uh, blue and red VR goggle, uh, not VR goggle. I'm sorry, it's a three D goggle. Uh, you can pick this option that clearly see and preview your three D effect, and that is the best way to actually see three D right now if you're working in a two D screen in Premiere. Um, so, so now you actually see uh, that it's a three D video footage. The first problem I noticed uh, of this. Uh, in camera stitching mechanism, uh, actually software stitching mechanism, um, is sometimes the camera think that because you know the camera right now is on a tripod right now, so the camera kind of think the bottom, the ground is infinity. So if the camera think the ground is infinity, so you try to think that maybe I don't need to have any three D. Uh, stereo in the ground. So because this scenario, uh. The camera actually think that my leg, which is on the ground, is actually really far away, is infinity. So my legs actually have no uh, stereo, um, no 3D, but my head is have stereo. So as you see right here, see, like if you see the red and blue separation, so there's not much on my leg area, but there's a lot on my head. If I want it better. So this one's better. See when I'm walking, so my leg have like no stereo uh, effect and my head is actually really obvious. So that is one of the common issues if you use uh, a native stitcher uh, or a stitching software that like have no control of where is infinity, where is not. Uh, as you see, a comparison from uh, here. Uh, which is stitched by Mystica VR. As you see, uh, both my head 
and my leg got the equal amount of separation from uh, the red and cyan um, that create the same effect of 3D because I am the same distance between the camera to the camera, so I should have the same 2D effect. And as you see, the same thing from the case right here. So that is one of the major issue uh, Mystical VR can fix. Uh, the second problem is, this is actually pretty good footage, so uh, I don't think Intent 3D Pro have this problem, but sometimes, uh, sometimes if I'm in a pretty charging environment, if I'm using the native stitcher, uh, Instant 360 Pro cannot tell this is the in the horizon, it, so they actually like also make this into 3D, and also this end as well. This one, uh, Instant 360 Pro actually can tell that is the horizon. It did not create 3D effect, so this is a good one. But sometimes you want to fix that as well in post because just the software kind of mistake the horizon in infinity is not the infinity and try to like separate that as well. So if that's the case, you also need to fix that in post and Mythical VR provide their solution to fix it in post. Let's also look at a pretty challenging footage, which is the music video we just saw right here. So as you see, this is shot in really low light. Uh, we have this like, LED panel, three of them, and the, the entire room is black. So uh, it's really challenging for Instant 360 Stitcher to figure out where is the horizon, where is the infinity, and where where they should um, actually create stereo effect. Okay, the first one here is actually stitched by Instant 360 Pro. So the, the effect is really obvious as you see the 3D effect, the blue and cyan. But as you see, this, this thing is actually in the background. So we should actually consider this as an infinity because this is in the background. I don't want to see 3D effect, but as you see, uh, Instant 360 Pro Stitcher cannot tell uh, if the actor and this object is the same distance and kind of assume that it's in the same distance. So they almost have the same line uh, through the effect, which is not ideal. And I won't actually want this to be flat. And also one of the, uh, so uh, the reason to judge any good stereo uh, scopic stitching is when there is no vertical parallax. So as you see right here, the cyan and red literally is not in the same line. So they actually have uh, vertical parallax. So that's something that you want to fix because if you put that into a VR goggle, like ocular rift, that would create a really nauseous effect for viewer. So that is actually a bad uh, stereo effect right here. So you want to fix that in post as well if you can. Um, and you can see the result, uh, if I hide this, if you see the result of uh, one stitching by Mystica, so I basically fix this to make this as the infinity, is the background, and and because I do that, so that we could have do the effect is not so obvious, uh, but it still has do the effect and actually pleasing to the eyes. So uh, from a lot of like stitching result I test, uh, especially into my ocular rift gargle. Sometimes if you want viewer to view your video longer than a minute, you want to have a subtle uh, through the effect and also make sure that not everything 3D, but only the subject, the, the person or the thing you want people to focus is 3D. And especially when they close to the camera is 3D. The rest is better to make it flat or subtle 3D to keep viewer uh, not nauseated that fast. Well, the last thing, uh, why the reason you use Mythical VR is to control the stitch point. So, uh, same idea as mono, uh, because if you stitch with the native stitcher, the stitcher basically do everything for you. So, uh, even your subject walk among the stitch line, um, they will have this general effect. Uh, well, that happened the same thing in stereo and actually even more obvious. So in stereo, it's actually the, the stitch line is not in, so why not I'm facing the camera directly, right? Let me just put on the VR mode, you can see it. So why not I'm facing the camera directly, but actually that is the stitch line in stereo because just the stereo mechanism uh, from this camera. So uh, if you pay attention, so how can you see something's going wrong? Uh, if you on here in Premiere, uh, go back to setting right here. If you turn the left and right eye, so just so see each eye individually. If you see right something right here, the, the piece, the word uh, piece, the A is a little bit jello. So what happened is because I am actually 
in the stitch line right now uh, between the between the lens uh, the intuitive effect so I actually like kind of distorted the background so if I play this footage if you pay attention this side please look at, look at right here so uh, let's see the, the result we did on Mystica VR let's just play that pay attention is almost perfect so that is the same scenario of mono let's say that if your client say that hey that is my anchor that is my subject matter and i don't want to stop going crazy around him like, like stuff like this uh, i don't want this to happen can you fix that so the only way to fix that is through mystical vr to moving the stitch point uh, around the subject to protect the subject edge point in stereo is way more complicated than uh, in mono. So that's why I want to create this tutorial that explain that in detail so you will know exactly how to do that. So let's go into Mystica VR and show you how. So we now open Mystica VR. So here you pick a project preset. Uh, go ahead because I actually shot an Instant 360 Pro. So my footage actually is 6K stereo. So I go ahead and pick this one and it's in 30 frames per second. But since I already have a preset, so I go ahead and pick this preset and set project. So depend on what is your output format. So what is your project size you should set at. So go ahead and set the project. And then step one is go ahead and import some footage. So go ahead and grab all the footage in here and drag it in. The second step is go ahead and pick a preset. If it right click on this panel and hit low preset. And as you see, the new beta actually bringing a lot of new presets from all different kind of cameras. So literally each uh, Mystica can stitch any camera out there in the market right now. And if you don't have one, they probably have one preset coming out pretty soon. So make sure to pick this one because that is the mono preset and that is their stereo preset. So go ahead and hit open. And we don't need this window anymore so i go ahead and hit this button and hide it and then i find a good frame and then step one is go ahead and under position right here hit improve offset a couple times until it doesn't see any changes anymore in the footage so as you see changes almost gone still have some okay now the changes almost gone see there's no more changes. So then you can stop improve offset. Now I'll go ahead and hit improve angle. So usually I will do this once or twice. Uh, that will be good enough. And then now go ahead and check the stereo view. So right here, black and W and a graph. And then zoom in and look at the stereo. It looked kind of good. It looked pretty good already. But one thing, again, the thing that I don't really like is the, the vertical offset is off so the vertical balance off and that is what create that problem that if you see your head is more 3d than your leg so uh, i want to fix that so go ahead and in here vertical balance let's input that in one no actually the other way around so minus one if you do that uh as you see uh, that reset the vertical base so now as you see the red width and the sign width is the same and that is the correct 3d and also see the vertical alignment is in the same height so remember that i told you that a vertical alignment vertical parallax is what causing nausea so you try to you go you try to using this option vertical ba vertical balance and the improve offset improve angle to get rid of that and well it's actually pretty good just offset by minor one so after we're done now this is looking pretty good now we gonna zoom out right click and pan and look at horizon so as you see horizon this is not supposed to have parallax because that is the horizon right so the so how you get rid of the parallax is right here turn this off turn this on and now they have this like round circle in between each lens so you need to go over to fix all the horizon parallax. So if you hit hold down shift and drag your mouse, see that's how you merge the image together to fix that parallax issue. So same happened in here. So I'm gonna zoom right in, drag it. 
is good. And then number six, right here. For number six, uh, the pillar is actually a big issue. It's pretty obvious. So just align the pillar right here. The pillar is aligned. Great. And that number two right here. Let's go number three first. Number three look pretty good. Just a little bit of adjustment. Should be good to go. Number two. The tree. Okay. There you go. So we basically lie in each of the gap of the lens. I basically align them as much as possible to get rid of like the, the parallax in horizon line. And as you, by the process of doing that, now my subject is have more like 2D effect because my I am closer to the camera. If I fix the parallax issue in the background, me will get more parallax, meaning that I will get more 2D effect in the process of doing so, which is great. Okay, now, all the horizons fixed. The last step just basically turn on optical flow. As you see, now I have a clearly 3D right here. And same as the case, which is a minute away from the camera. So after this, I will actually play through the footage. Uh, in here, there's a trick. If you hold down keyboard E and R, we switch to left eye and right eye view. And your goal is to while playing it, see while playing it, keep hitting left and right to make sure there's no jello or make sure there's no optical flow stitching problem. And that's your, and that is the same thing you see uh, in Premiere, right? Why not? We do not see any problem, so it's good. Also, the last tip I want to give you is see why not the feather is fifty. So if you go back to be black and right view so uh, as you see there's still a minor if you pan minor if you zoom right in you still a little bit minor like vertical parallel issue actually it's already really good if you see the tree might see a little bit of silence a little bit higher than the red uh, I want to get rid of the parallel issue entirely that is the trick uh, sometimes it's hard to get rid of it entirely but if you increase the feather to a hundred so as you see, now everything like less punchy, but then also they get rid of the vertical parallax issue. So what it does is we increase feather. You basically uh, make the image less 3D, less punching, but at the same time, uh, from the distance, like the vertical parallax also will get fixed by just increasing the feather. So that is what I tend to do to just make a perfect 3D footage. And again, I don't need myself would be 2 3D. If all the background is 2D, I'm in 2D, I will be pop anyway. As I said, uh, 3D is a subtle effect. You don't want everything to be 3D, especially you don't want bad 3D coming out into your gargoyle, like a vertical parallax. So that is done. So I'm ready to output. The last thing I would do, go ahead and match color once or twice to make sure the color is match. And then I'm ready to go ahead and hit render. And then in the next tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to actually fix more problem. If you see right here, left and right, that's the same problem. If you see in, you pay attention to the A right here. See in the Instant 260 Pro Native Stitcher, is the parallax issue when you motion in the stitch point. So uh, the next tutorial, I'll teach you how to use Mythica VR to stitch around it. So we get rid of all this motion. So we'll see you in the next tutorial.